All right. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the 2020 Shuffle It Championship Finals. I am joined today by Saviri. Hello. And we're here to watch N.A. Smith 99 and Marcus face it off, face off for the, uh, the final prize. Um, are you not going to say specifically the final prize? I, I will. I will. They, they, they're competing today for 500 euros. Wow. Though the second place player will receive 350 euros, I believe. So I'm okay. 300 euros. Thank you, Truffles. So really they're playing, I guess, for 200 euros. Um, and uh, which is uh, 591 and 77 cents in, in US dollars currently. So... Uh, Pretty good, pretty good haul. And also, more importantly, for the glorious truffles mentioned. Um, All right. So, um, first part, what, how do you feel? Well, uh, I mean, it's got everything, right? Yeah, more, yeah. More or less that you'd pretty want. Much. A little bit, a little bit low on trashing, but other than that, yeah. plenty of. Uh, you know, in the ghost towns to sort of uh, correct sort of the consistency issues that you might have from not as strong of trashing. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder. The, yeah, so when would you go for the trashing? I don't. I don't think you open with like miser or. Uh, I guess you open with necromancer. Right? You can open necromancer. Yeah. A state hit is really nice. Yeah. On the Mason. Mm -hmm. Um Silver Silver Poacher? Okay. We'll see if Marcus follows. Interestingly, both players have identical records through the tournament. If you sum their, their wins and losses, they're both twenty seven point five and six point five. Wow. Um, are you so, so they play the same number of games, not not the exact distribution of matches, but um, wow. So they both had very strong runs, mostly uh, not terribly close matches for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't been keeping up that much, but hey, at least I, I, I made it for the finals. Yep, that's all we needed from you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm kind of I kind of rusty myself too. I, I I decided to play like five games of ladder yesterday just to remind myself how this game works. <laughs> okay. Okay, large should be remember. Oh, he's taking a wall on 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 this turn. Yeah. So what what do you think he's considering right now? Oh. Not sure. The there was sort of a graphical glitch. It sort of looked weird for me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Misses the the estate. Hits five. I think. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Guild Hall stuff, I'm not sure if I would play that. Yeah, I, I, I feel I feel <laughs> like it's a bit too weak to go for. Yeah, I expect a board. I expect a haggler from Marcus here. Or at least I think I would get a haggler. Haggler is kind of anti synergistic with Stone Mason, I don't know. That's true. You probably still get it, but, but maybe meh. But like a worker's village, I mean a five four pair is way better yeah yeah and stonemason plus two whatever i mean most of the time anyway yeah yeah and you can pick up ghost town of workers village as well yeah it's just something to think about
workers. Okay, there's the estate hit. That's kind of nice. Yeah, I assume this is a super easy ghost town. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It guarantees a Skagler and... Yeah. Maybe he really wanted the extra aqueduct point. <laughs> yeah, this is looking good for Explorer. Oh, okay. that that's so pretty can... clearly a guild hall pivot or guild hall yeah. plan. Yeah. Uh Steph was Steph was confident it wasn't going to happen, but <laughs> he just did it to prove Steph wrong, I guess. This is easy swashbuckler workers village, I think. Or swashbuckler ghost town maybe. Yeah, wait, does he have the... No, he doesn't have the workers yet, right? But I guess it doesn't do much for him right now. I guess you can go workers ghost town as well. Okay, they go, go with that. I think surely you want sw swashbuckler with ghost town around. Like, yeah, they just already had one swashbuckler, so there was a question of getting the swashbuckler uh, right, right okay. then. Or not the swashbuckler, the ghost town right then, so that you could... Hmm. You know, have a better yeah, on. I, I thought I, I thought he only had one. Mm -hmm. N.A. Smith just has an explorer. The explorer is kind of nice. You you get silvers, but what could you want? All right. Oh, okay. Slash buckler copper. It's it's I guess an angle to get the chest, but this looks. Oh. I mean, Marcus is holding his deck, which is. Yeah, that's gonna be a good <laughs> I mean, thing. that's just gonna be so hard to co to compete to with. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I think I go they have ten, maybe Swash Ghost Town Hagler Workers Village. I think yeah. I'm I'm kinda of, like the next turns actions might be a bit weird. Because your ghost, both his ghost towns just came in. Yeah. Well, you're gonna replace one for sure. Yep. Um, but I don't feel like you have to get two. I mean, you could, but you can also just get a workers' village with one of the fives. Mm -hmm. Is there is there any angle for like scepter? That doesn't seem like it does this much here. I don't, I'm not seeing what it, I'm not seeing the trick that it does for you here if there is one. Yeah. So to me, it looks worse than just getting some other payload. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't, it's not like an actionless haggler. It can't use that ability. And... Right. Yeah. And... I mean, you could, you could throw in an explorer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like he goes two ghost towns. I, yeah. I think that's just a safer play. Like, as in, like, it just minimizes your two percent chance to dead or something. I think it's yeah. It's definitely fine. Um, you had to get one clearly, and then mm -hmm. I think there was maybe some argument for Workers Village, but another ghost town also looks looks really good. Ooh. I wonder if you spend one coffer to take silver province there just for an extra point. Does that does that matter? You think? Yeah, I feel like the silver might have been a nice thing to get there. Yeah, this is this is a pretty nice turn for Marcus. Though, though it's. He'll he'll probably he'll probably never get the chest if that's a thing he cares about. Though though I'm not sure if he really cares that much about it. 
Oh, explorer. Okay. Oh, right, spy. I'm showing my rust here. <laughs> <laughs> explorer, workers, revenge. Okay, reasonable. Spy is a silver. Yeah, I feel like there just isn't enough time for for any smith to win here. Yeah, I don't think so. I agree with chat though. They didn't need to. Ooh. They didn't need to mace in there. They could have um, spied and still put something in the discard. I mean, I guess you can go for the upside though. It really hurts to lose the. Um, the swashbuckler. The swashbuckler from that shuffle. I also don't. I don't understand Marcus's explorer. To be honest, it seems. Fairly bad to me. I think mm -hmm. they felt. I mean, I guess they felt pressure to to try and green, but I I, I don't, don't I don't why. know why. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think you should be pressured in this position because the <clears throat> the deck potential was. Oh wow! He's calling GG already. <clears throat> we're not. We're not at all close. I mean, you look at you look at a hand like that, and you just feel like calling GG. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, uh, I, don't, I I didn't see a way for him to win there. No, I think that resignation was completely reasonable. So that was his. That was Annie Smith's uh, first player game. Mm -hmm. Oh, this this one looks kind of interesting. What do you do here? Well, hmm. Well, oh, yeah, it's a very awkward menagerie horn of plenty. Thing. Yeah, you can do it though. I mean, yeah, it won't always run, but with the forums, you can make it work. Yeah, yeah. Like if you get if you get like one or even two menagerie hits then the forums can just that's enough hand size to do a super turn mm -hmm. yeah and as Steph points out Lost in the Woods is helpful there as well ah uh, yep oh that's an unlucky draw and Scepter does I guess let you chain or not chain but you can play a horn and gain something then play a Scepter and draw it oh Okay. Is that actually useful though? I'm I I I I'm I'm trying to maybe one. I don't think you're gonna get a bunch of scepters, but you can also yeah, you can also hit the menageries. So like one scepter seems pretty easy because it could draw you three cards. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I mean I don't know. It, it definitely seems possible to me that it's worth doing. Flame Sky Mountain. Oh, he takes. Oh, wait, no. Mountain's not a choice. What am I yeah. saying? <sighs> hey, at least the Mountain's gift gives him Labyrinth points, so. Yep. It's not too bad. <clears throat> oh wow goes for gold over menagerie yeah that's surprising to me I think I mean gold is useful here because of the forums but fair enough but does he even have how many menageries does he have right now it's not that many or... I would have thought I, was... I would have thought that the menagerie there would just two more. They just each have one menagerie. Mm -hmm. Right. 
Yeah, I feel like all you want to do with this early on is just cycle as hard as you can and play priest as much as you can. And then at some point in like a turn or two, you just, you're just consistent. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice starting hand for Marcus. Yeah. J Nails also brings up a good point that the scepter is just a, a priest. Right. That is, you know, of course, a not called priest, which is pretty nice here. I assume this is like for menagerie. Um, yeah. I wonder if you even look at like duck it. Possibly at some Maybe point. It's a bit too early. I just think that. No, you really don't care about buys that much at all. I don't think. <laughs> I didn't agree with Miscon. Um. Oh, Earth is nice. It's oh yeah, this is a angry. this is a really good fool. Yeah, the buy is really nice too. Oh, maybe not. It doesn't do a, it. Doesn't do a whole lot here. Really nice set of boons. Well, he had to he had to eat the mountains gift for for this set of boons. So. Well, wasn't it N.A. Smith who got the... I, I thought Marcus got it. Yeah, maybe, Marcus maybe got it. Was, oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Oh, he DC'd. I thought he was... I thought he was <laughs> deep in thought. It's like... I, I mean, the Earth's gift seems, seems like a pr pretty easy decision here. Oh yeah, buying Ducket gives you two bucks back. That's that's cute. That's really oh, cute. Oh, I really dislike buying Ducket without trashing. Well, obviously there it was especially bad. Mm. But even if you're just thinking about those as the buys. Um, yeah. But yeah, the, there the, there's just a copper trash mist, which is unfortunate. The 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 priest the priest interaction is not the most obvious, I would say. What are the boons? I, I was telling myself I should... I should I, I've always wanted to write a, write a script that tracks boons for spectators, but I've been too lazy to, to actually do it. Mm -hmm. mm. That would be nice. Yeah, but I don't... Yeah, field is gone. So, so this is if he's thinking about if he's thinking about fool or priest, it's <laughs> one or the other. And surely you play priest, I think. I feel like it's about time for horns for both of them. You think so? And a Smith picks one up, which I think looks mm -hmm. looks fine to me. I actually don't understand chat chat wants ducats so much and I don't get it. <clears throat> It is really sad that Marcus's deck isn't down one more copper, though. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Oh. I would have thought you trashed a lucky coin here. But I mean, you don't really need it as an extra unit, right? It's basically just 
cost you a coffer. Since you're probably going five menagerie. Yeah. So I, yeah, I, f I mean, it's, I guess it's not totally clear because it does offer some advantages for the activation, but I mean, taking a silver with it too, though, is kind of dubious yeah. to me. It's pretty dubious to me. He's got like four silvers at this point or something. And maybe Marcus just thinks that they're... I don't know that they're not doing horn stuff, but maybe he, uh, yeah, maybe like the the menagerie farm thing seems too finicky. I don't know. Oh. I think it will. I think it's definitely I... the best thing here for sure, though. Yeah, I agree. Like it's gonna be finicky if you add four silvers to your deck, so. It's kind of self-fulfilling. So any smith has a 50% chance of... Oh no, he's guaranteed to draw his... his horn. If he wants to. Yeah, which we assume. <laughs> that he probably does. I mean, he can draw all these cards, right? Yeah. Oh, I was. Oh, I, I, the line I was looking at was just drawing the min, one card with the menagerie mm -hmm. and priesting the OE. Because he yeah. doesn't have buys anyways, so it yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, that's the easiest. Yeah, I guess the other way you can draw. Well, you don't draw them all. Yeah. Oh, that's. Weird. That's. Oh, did he? That did is he really. Did that his moon was gonna be the sea's gift or something? What? No, he did. He that was known information. It it was not. It was this. It was the. Oh, first had had it. Moon there. Yeah. Was it, it shuffle? I oh. think this is the first. Oh, oh, there it was not. There was two. There were two left. Oh, yeah. I it, see. I see. It, see, okay. see was known. Okay. Okay. Uh, I was confused then, cause yeah, I I I thought I thought someone got a batch of three that yeah finished the, up the, there. the for the forest was the one that came off the shuffle. Ah, uh, okay. Wow, that's really that's really clean then mm -hmm. the way it worked out. Wow, that was a nice turn. That was a really nice turn. Discarding silver seems right. Yeah, and rewarded with another activation, so. Oh, is he drawing? That, that wasn't the alternative, though, truffles. The alternative was just a totally clean shuffle. The other way of playing it anyway. Yeah. Well, I guess you know C's... Eh, maybe that's not true, right? Yeah, you're right. Never mind. Because because of C coming down. Yeah, it was Copper versus Fool. Now you can trash one of your silvers. Hmm. <laughs> Does it affect his price point? Like, what's he looking for? Like, it's like 8, right? Maybe 10? Um, can he hit I mean, you can, use a, you can use 11 pretty well. Uh, 
I don't think you can use 11 with one menagerie gone from Earths. Unless... Why not? I'm Can't you go like form horn menagerie? That's 13, right? Oh, or, yeah, right. yeah, it is. I'm just bad oh, at it. Okay. I'm just... <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just totally wrong. They do have hey, it's, 13. Though. It's 13, but uh, yeah, and it works out perfectly. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, I was just on something, I guess. Yeah, you got me really worried for a moment. I was like, what? What am I missing? <laughs> you, don't, you don't need to trust my arithmetic at any point. I would, I would not use that to, to doubt yourself. Double horn. Oh, two horns. Oh. Maybe he's he's worried about the horns that like if he doesn't get some right now he might be stuck in a weird position where he can't get any at all. But it seems like a turn or two too early to be worrying about things like that. Yeah. I mean they're just gonna have piles here in like a second now. Like yeah, probably like a turn or two each. So no scepters yet. <clears throat> yeah, scepter could be an interesting, uh, an interesting idea. If you have two menageries, they both activate, and you gain, let's say you have three horns, you can go horn, horn, scepter, activate a menagerie, do that again, activate a menagerie. Do they have that much overdraw, though? Well, it only takes two men, oh, right, to get to the end of the deck? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah there'll always be junk in the discard. Yeah. Yeah. Probably if somebody had gotten a sept earlier and was doing priests, you know, more, more priest mm -hmm. trashes per shuffle. Someone might have gotten there, but yeah. yeah, you're right. These the size of these decks, it's it's not really that feasible. Yeah, but the two cards are pretty expensive with respect to the gain and play stuff. And it's not like there's tons more draw to get. I mean, two cards is a lot to draw through still on this board, is what I mean. Mm -hmm. N.A. Smith, or not N.A. Smith, Jay Nelson. I just hope we don't run into one of them like just having a horrific dud somehow. That would be kind of sad. That's probably what's going to happen. Horn Horn Forum. Hot is. Menagerie is safe, right? Yeah, okay. Ooh! Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> I cursed him! You did. <laughs> well, that sucks. One, another problem with the horns, well, you can probably get to them, never mind. But yeah, if you don't find the forms, you've got a lot of duplicate treasures in this deck now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I, I agree, Sam. I don't think it was weird that this happened. It's just sad for Marcus. He, he he brought it upon himself. 
adding all those silvers. Okay. Oh. So what do you what do you buy here? Yeah. You... I don't know. Probably a province. And what do you gain? And do, maybe a maybe a grave thing? robber. The horns are like two four or something, right? Um. Yeah, Na Smith has four for sure. Four horns. Yeah, I Tracer Tracer you. makes a good point that you really didn't need a form for this turn. <laughs> wow, this is extremely useful information, J Nails. <laughs> <laughs> well, this turn is going to be quite interesting, I think. Like. What? Oh, NA Smith, probably, uh, yeah, go ahead. If N.A. Smith gets 10, don't they just win? Is, yeah, 10, is 10 a win or is it a draw? Oh, I guess it's that's a, just a tie, losing it's draw. A draw, yeah. I don't think a win this turn is that possible, even. I mean, there's still, I guess maybe... Depending on the boon received, there was maybe an out, but I don't know what was left to to say whether mm. that was true or not. Either way, I don't think he needs to win this turn, right? His no, position. no, yeah. he doesn't have to. But yeah, yeah and drawing those menageries can. is kind of kind of painful. I guess does he does he even have? Well, now he definitely does. I mean, can't do... Can't do That's five similar. provinces. Mm -hmm. Can do four. But four is four sca scary. Is the, yeah, yeah four, four doesn't look like the thing. Yeah. I feel like it's a small positive number. Hmm. Oh right. Yeah, yeah they, they, they don't even on. have they don't even have province, so Oh was that I just I just assumed with all this hand that it was, but there's only two other cards in play, so Yeah. Yeah, it's it's eight as a unique if you trash a horn with your priest because you need to play the priest. Right. And you'd get eight bucks. So you would, I guess, four provinces is possible. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Because yeah, you would get, hard. you would get money from the priest. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. That's a funny interaction. That may matter later on. Yeah. Well, this turn just got quite awkward because he, I, I feel like he wants to, from get some positive number of provinces. But it's... Oh. Hmm. Yeah, this is a good time for a very long think. It's scary because, you know, you could just... Any Smith, no matter what you do, you can still just shuffle and be sad. Yeah, yeah. And you're, the nothing you can gain here is really making a big help for that. Um, I I don't think you can even you can even play to mitigate that because. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. There's like nothing to do. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, the whole pile of alt VP. I don't think that's going to come into play. What's the Gospel of Lemon Spa Tracer? Guess we'll never know. Um, the, the numbers for the boons. The the first number is the is the dis, the draw pile. The second number is the discard pile. Yeah. So there's two more. There's two more boons left to draw from this shuffle. The boon. Yeah. There's got to be a better way to represent that. I mean. Yeah, I think it's serviceable now, but there's, I mean, as, as with most things, there's better ways to do things. I never know what it means, not gonna lie, unless I really stop and think about it. Um, what can N.A. Smith do? I mean, you could gain some things that make it less awkward or make it less likely that you have this kind of awkwardness the following turn, like a bandit camp. <clears throat> um, okay, does get trash and copper? Adds a grave robber, adds a bandit camp. And the forum? That can't be safe. The forum's right? not safe. Yeah. Does Marcus have five gains? Marcus has two horns, one grave robber. And a duck in. And he can yeah, the, yeah, and then forum doesn't cost a buy either. Yeah, it's very possible that he wins. Yeah. Wow. How did how did we end up in this position? I thought any Smith seemed quite far ahead a while back. And it wasn't like any Smith's turn. Well, any Smith didn't activate a couple of menagerie's at the end. Oh wow, that's a beautiful draw for Marcus. Wow. <laughs> that's 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 why menagerie is the the greatest card ever. Yeah, I, I think at this point you count and then you realize you'll win. Uh, something, something, priest, grave, robber, horns. Surely, surely there's a win here. How much surely. money do you need? How many buys do you have to do? Just two? Just two. Well, then that's easy. Necro, yeah, necro, priest, grave, robber. You have like two billion bucks horn for stuff. Yeah, that's easy. Wow. It's, it's in That's hand. Crazy. So yeah, so you, you can necro, I mean, one way to do it, you can necro, priest, trash, wisp, grave robber, fool, or forum, and then that's already in hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I guess Marcus is weird that a couple of turns back. Or was it last turn? It wasn't that, that bad. We'll see how hard he works oh, for wow. it here. Great robber first. They still have enough money. Oh, he's going for the he's going for the gain and play. Yeah. This will this is still I think. It was still easy, it was yeah. still guaranteed because you didn't need to do the priest first to still have the ten dollars, so it didn't matter. Yeah, yeah. It's just making us see a shuffle. Oh, he really doesn't like that priest. <laughs> All right. This way wow. would have let him. This way would have let him win if N.A. Smith had scored anything less than mm -hmm. like less than like two provinces, mm -hmm. which maybe is what N.A. Smith should have done. Do do double province. Yeah, but even then, it feels 
it still feels bad because you're you have to trash one of your horns for nothing, and then you trash two of your horns. And at the point, what do you even have in your? Well, deck? You, I mean, you don't have to trash it for nothing. You, I mean, maybe you're tr you're tra you're trashing it for province, right? <laughs> no, no. As in, I'm saying, on any uh, fifth turn, he needed to priest one of his horns. Yeah, yeah, that one. The, right. Yeah, yeah, that one. Then he goes down to one horn. Then it's like, what does his deck even do at that point? Well, he would still have two. Would he have two or would he have one? He had you. I'm saying to four, right? to double province, he only needs to. Oh right, right. Because of money, here right? he can buy one. Yeah. I believe right, maybe right. I'm maybe I'm missing the money, but I think he had enough. But maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was just seven dollars unless he trashes two two hops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, so what Smith, the heck is Otter, by the way? Oh, it's it's a mod. Okay. Miss Gun N.A. Smith could have gotten four provinces if he yeah. trashed all the horns. Um, but it wasn't. Yeah, I'm not. I'm actually not sure if they, he had the money to do just to that way with saving the hops. All right. So Marcus so is now. Yeah, he's up to two. Two will. So we're gonna have a like a five minute think on on the first turn because it's a donate game, right? Oh yeah. This is the part I don't enjoy about donate. The the pressure that you have to find the the um The, the the best line and you have to find it before you do anything else mm -hmm. so, so what, what what do you do on this part mm. have a lot of falconers okay ah mm-hmm uh, I was like having a lot of falconer, so. Yeah, it seems pretty good here, I, I guess. <clears throat> falconer developed Jester. Jester seems a bit sketch, a bit three to me, but. Uh... Four three, four three. Yeah, uh, Sick Sicko's plan sounds okay. Yeah, it looks like that's what they're doing. Is actually is develop is develop that great on the open? It doesn't seem like it does. Actually, no, develop should be good, right? It's hard to. See. I mean, you can. Okay, what's it doing for you? Well, I mean, you have a four in your deck, so there's at least one really nice thing it can do. I mean, if if I open four develop and I've paired them in my first turn, I would develop the four and and donate that turn. Um, mm -hmm. And you'd 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 go down to a deck with falcon or silver and like, you know, whatever, however many coppers, but. I mean, you could you could develop the four and then donate the next turn, right? You get one turn where you guarantee your falconish silver, and you. Yeah, you could wait. That's true. Since they're on top, you could wait. Yeah. No shepherd from Marcus. <clears throat> wow, is he gonna draw his deck? If he draws a shepherd, he draws his deck. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs donate, right? You're 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 drawing your deck already in your ears. <laughs> he's, so gonna see, like... he's gonna see most of it anyway. Oh, there's the shepherd. Oh wow, three <laughs> magpies. It'd be kind of funny if they totally skipped donate. Uh, that's so unlikely. Oh, oh the falconer falconer react. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm a little surprised oh, that N.A. Smith went for magpie over experiment, but 
maybe that's the thing to do. Donate happens here. <laughs> Does Marcus keep his estates? I assume he wants to draw with the shepherd, right? But I mean, uh, I'm assuming he donates on this turn and goes down to some small debt. You can kill the Estes and develop the Shepherd. But Shepherd's the best source of draw on this board, right? Uh, I'm not sure I would... I'm really not sure how I would play this. I don't think it's easy. I'm not sure if I would try to do Shepherd stuff or not. I can no. totally see just, you know, evaporating your deck with donate right <laughs> and and just doing then you're not worried about draw for a long time. Um, yeah. But I think eventually Shepherd is good, so I think you should play with it. I yeah, I, I think so too, but you have the flexibility to just kinda of add it whenever um when you need it or when it's good you don't have to say oh i need to i need to keep these estates because i have a shepherd or because i feel like i have to do shepherd mm, okay yeah that makes sense <laughs> which is something that people do with estates and shepherds sometimes um, so any like yeah any smith just toasts the deck yeah Keeps the pasture. So what is any Smith's last two cards? Pasture and and magpie? Yeah, magpie. Pasture magpie. Yeah, he's just gonna he's gonna he's gonna pile the magpies. So. Well, no, you put the you, no, you put the pasture in hand. So oh. it 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 the if if pasture's on the bottom, it breaks the auto pile. It it, oh, it is a tough. fifty fifty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're guaranteed to get a magpie, but you may not have any discard pile to hit afterwards. Or a big enough discard pile. There's no tricks that he can do, right? Yeah, doesn't look like it. I mean, not unless his... Well, no, his falconer's not getting activated, so... <laughs> yeah. Um, that would be... That would be the thing that would let you do it, but... Oh, wow! Oh, that that's... Oh, that's sad. That is sad. <laughs> I mean... I don't know that getting three more f magpies was like a huge deal. Yeah, no, no, I'm talking about Marcus's. Head, oh, oh, his draw. Okay, that's sad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, missing the missing the magpie, <laughs> sure, but <laughs> this is I. I'm gonna say it. Marcus deserves this hand. He mm -hmm. deserves it for if you bought donate and these cards are still in your deck, you deserve to draw them. Yeah, wh wh why does he have coppers? Um, that's I'm not, you know. I, I mean, he has a falconer to regain economy, right? Okay, well, there go the magpies. I, I I call this just justice for <laughs> mi mistreating the donate. <laughs> Now N.A. Smith has is gonna have all these little puzzles every turn. <laughs> yeah. Between develop falconer and coin interactions. That's mad. It's also cute because you can well, I guess you're not getting coins that way. I was gonna say the coins could be on top, but they're probably not. But like silver can be on top where the magpies draw them. Um, that's true, Steph. You don't have to do the puzzle perfectly from N.A. Smith's position at this point. You just have to do it okay-ish. And not, like, 
make your opponent have a three pile later on. Okay, look, if you have a royal seal, you can top deck your gains from Falconer. <laughs> so you can top deck two treasure gains and then draw it with Magpie. How, do you get, how, you, how are you getting that royal seal in play? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh you, it needs to be in play. It's not a reveal. Oh, what? No, no, Why it's, it's not. So it, bad? It's not blue. <laughs> what? Why is the card so bad? <laughs> I have been playing for a while, but like, who, who, who even uses Royal Seal, right? Come on, all of you. When was yeah, the but... last time you bought you, you bought a Royal Seal for Royal well, Seal? Well, no, but it's but it's not blue. Okay, Falconer, in develop and oh, and then Marcus has a Falconer. And you even have like Otter to consider, which is another layer of. Yeah. Uh -huh. I love Falconer so much. Yeah, I don't know about yeah, Shepherd Estate is just okay. Um You definitely need to get a coin of the realm for sure down. Mm -hmm. So NA Smith goes with Sam's plan exactly. We'll see wow. if the, can Sam predict the buy? That's the real question. <laughs> Oh, too oh, slow. No, no, no. That, no, yeah, that no. Count. That Sorry. Count. Good try, Sam. No, you didn't. Judges, the judges have ruled. <laughs> I wonder if it was an intentional thing that Falconer. Oh wait, no, no, it does. It doesn't work like that. Oh my god, I'm. <laughs> do you do you know how any? Do you know how any Dominion cards work? Okay, okay I'm, I, I'm, I'm kind of bad <laughs> with Menagerie cards. I know, I know what they all do. I've played with them quite a bit, but uh, like so, sometimes, sometimes I forget. <laughs> the, Plus, uh, action means you gain an action card to your hand, right? Yeah. <laughs> some some rules threads are just the best. It's an estate to to beef up the shepherd a little bit. Mm. It's gonna be funny if one of these magpies finds the pasture. <laughs> oh wow! Wow, I just did. I'm yeah. surprised at playing the experiment at that point. Yeah. There's no real yeah. reason to. Yeah. I mean, it probably doesn't matter, but. Don't can't play all the magpies out because you're gonna try and, gain and play, yeah. do a little gain and play, but gain and play a coin. I would do another. Hmm. Shepherd coin now activates Falconer, would... gain something, you can magpie draw the coin. Seems pretty cute. I would probably... I mean, you can basically play it a lot like the last turn. Right. If, if yeah. you want. Here. I would, I would get a de another Falconer, definitely.
Mm. Oh, Swamp oh, Peg. I don't like right. Swamp Peg. Um, but I'm I'm still confident in A. Smith's chances, but I don't like it. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It seems like you're buying things at like twenty percent of your your gains this game. But now you get to do more, do another. Hopefully, well, I hope anyway that this time he gets a, another falconer. Hmm. He might want to seed his next turn. <laughs> mm hmm. Well, you can still do a silver. I mean, you could go. Maybe this is too action heavy. I think what I'm having in mind is maybe a little too action heavy to work this very turn. Hmm. Develop the coin. And he developed the Mr. Coin, so he's going to draw it with Magpie. And this way he doesn't seed anything to his next turn, though. No. Maybe well, he, I mean, you, you could seed... Um, you can probably trigger Shuffle with an experiment in it. There's probably a way to do that at this point. But oh, that's I think someone's not muted. I can server oh, mute them. Genials. Yeah, I server muted them. Oh wow! Look at the angry red mute mute icon. Someone remind me after the match to undo it. <laughs> <laughs> Since Genials is our. 24 hour commentator. <clears throat> Marcus's turn looks kind of done almost. Yeah, game, game, yeah, some might say is a bit. Like too early to call all of it. Oh, life, life. It's brutal. <laughs> a bit too far. It's brutal. It's gonna be funny if the experiment for N.A. Smith doesn't draw any draw, and Mark or and N.A. Smith just has to gain two estates to hand oh. to hand to make their turn turn still go. Wouldn't gaining experiments be better? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. It might. It might be. I mean, estates are estates are forever, right? That, like they're probably a good card, and they're worth two points. So it's probably better than experiment. Yeah, you know, Na Smith is just like. Come on, please just gain a card that has more than two, uh, that has at least two types. Yeah. Yeah, if he gets, if he gets him, if he gets him activated by Marcus, then I think estates are a reasonable pickup for sure. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Marcus <clears throat> just drew his deck, but it doesn't look like his deck does that much. No. Oh, that kind of sucks. <laughs> That's okay. Marcus had... This is the first game Marcus was the only one who got to do anything. So now we're, now we're even on that. Game two, they both got to do stuff. Yeah. Game three, only N.A. Smith gets to do something. Yeah, it's definitely rough. Or it's going to be rough if he gains a multi-type, which is extremely likely, I think. Just because of the fives, oh. yeah. Oh, there we go. 
So we'll see what Anna Smith goes for. Uh, classic mistake. Marcus should have gained a royal seal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you're liking two estates here? I yeah, I think two estates is fine. I'm not sure. I'd have to think more if I before I decided like to definitely do it. But it seems uh, it definitely is good, and it's kind of the mm -hmm. easiest thing to think through doing. Mm -hmm. Now, poor Marcus does get cursed. Oof! Sad times. Yeah, that curse is actually going to be kind of annoying to dislodge. So you don't yeah. really want to be developing it. Yeah, the, I mean, he'll feel the curse. Yeah. Definitely. There's no way you gain another estate here, right? Mm. Could you win, actually? Hmm. Maybe it's gotta be quite close. It's gotta be very close. If you do two s develop silvers into shepherd estate pairs, yeah. If you do yeah. that twice, then it probably is just done. oh yeah yeah. This is easy. I mean, as long as you get back around to the the falconers, now it's super easy. Yeah yeah yeah. Wow, Marcus could actually have staved off his defeat if he gained a, a royal seal instead <laughs> for like one turn. Like the two gains are actually the clincher. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't quite Kanye. He wasn't quite through it. Um. Or... Uh, we had too many good games. And time for a crappy looking board. Oh yeah, this is not a lot to do. I know some people like like this kind of board, but like, I, it's not like I would pick it, but I like them to appear with some frequency. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. like the change of pace in in certain matches, for sure. Mm -hmm. I, I I feel like the the flow of the kingdom so far in this match have been quite. Good. It's like the game one was the classic engine. You have you have everything. Game two, you have the fun hop stuff. Game the last game was it very weird and complex, and then now we have a moneyish board. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is Silas good? Eh, probably dismantle right. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Night Watchman, right? Night Watchman and the Witch. That's clear. I mean, yeah, you can try and just get the five. Hmm. Oh, Temple. Temple. I don't know. I, I, I feel like maybe this mental is better than Temple here, but maybe I'm off on that. I think you could probably not try to trash at all and still win here some of the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, That's a nice, oh, nice doctor. Wow. It's a nice yeah. doctor. Yeah, and Marcus is looking at his crappy temple here and going, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the difference in, in trashing. It's just, it's just, they just want to... Steph wants to give us a game seven. Yeah. Well, at least this game. Oh, look at the temple again. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> and a Smith picks up a trove here, I assume. Yeah. Look, uh, yeah. Gets a trove? Yeah. It has to be better than second ridge. Yeah, you could do second witch this turn. Hmm.
but maybe Marcus will win with the VP lead. Every shuffle oh. from here on out will be perfect for them. And a Smith will hit 11 and 7, and Marcus will hit 8 on the dot. I would, I guess for N.A. Smith, it's either gold or a second witch. Mm. Yeah. Goes with Silas. Silas, oh, Silas. Silas is reasonable too. Yeah, I, I was, I was gonna say Silas seems seems good, but I, I wouldn't get it over like a gold or. A which I would think. Maybe, maybe I'm off on that. Wow, look at the exact eight. <laughs> yeah, didn't find the trove. That's the only bad thing about this shuffle for N.A. Smith. Uh, I don't know if you go... I don't think there's any reason to do Doctor at yes. all. I mean, your estate's in hand, and the it's just like... There's some coppers, but you just bought silos, so who cares? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, I would be okay with province or gold or witch. Maybe not witch with the silos. Uh, mole doesn't come into play, right? I mean, you might. There's. It's not impossible, I guess, to draw oh, it with a with a doctor hand. That's sad. Yeah. True. Is this a second watchman? Oh no! You know, you know, you know. Things are bad when you have two night watchmen's. <laughs> that's the that's the sign. Mm -hmm. Especially, and it's also when they bring it. You know, it's put into into the forefront by the one of the night watchmen showing up in the other night watchmen's reveal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he's taking a long time on this. <laughs> well, N.A. Smith can buy double Smith. double silos. <laughs> draw, yeah. draw, draw two cards per copper you discard. It's going to get like 17 bucks next turn. Honestly, I think you just buy silver. Yep. This is the second witch. Second witch. Okay. Did they know what their last card was for not siloing there? They must oh, have. And any Smith or uh, any Smith? I uh probably. I guess the other thing N.A. Smith might have been able to do when they took silver was just buy a temple. Yeah, I was thinking about that, but it doesn't seem like it does much. Yeah, I don't think yet. Oh, there goes the temple. Mm. Uh, these, these turns are going to start getting real bad. <laughs> Yeah, they but, one, shuffle on. but one person is quite a bit cleaner. Yeah. Wait, Raider can't be serious, right? I don't see it being better than gold. It's <clears throat> yeah, actually, yeah, I guess I guess it's spikier than gold. Right, yeah, that's true. That's true, that's true, yeah. I'm really surprised at the doctor play there over just oh, trashing doctor to temple or even uh, or even mole. mulling one of them. Wait, <laughs> three night watchmen. Yeah, he oh. added the third one a while ago. Yeah, that's what. 
You know what you do? You discard one of these Night Watchmen's and then next turn you can trash three cards. <laughs> I actually... I mean, obviously Marcus was just in a bad spot regardless, but I am pretty puzzled at the thought process of getting Night Watchmen as the way of rescuing it. Though mm -hmm. I think I've probably done it myself in a game or two. It never, oh, wow. it never works. Oh, that's that's tragic. It's two golds missed the shuffle. Mm -hmm. Oh, these turns look so nasty. But now in a Smith Night Watchman, yeah, that's, that's good. Mm. Didn't really draw into a nice hand though. <laughs> He drew it. He drew two of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least he drew an eight. That's nice. He, he drew two, two of them. He gets to see the next one. You, you surely just leave this on top, and then you play the second night watchman and look at your next hand again. Oh, he didn't. He didn't look at his next hand again. Oh what? Then what? why why do you trigger why do you trigger the shuffle there? Oh, cause your deck's awful anyway. I think it was right. I that looked totally reasonable to me. Oh really? Okay. I mean, I don't know. I don't think it. It's hard on these spots to like really criticize it, cause what is the what even That's is true. the upside that we're looking for? It's not yeah. clear to me. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but I'm playing Doctor over Temple again. Oh wow, he just draws <clears throat> eight. Cool. I think that yeah, that's just gonna be hard. N.A. Smith even in the middle had some not great shuffles. Uh, but uh, but by by that point the game was kind of over anyways. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Well, two two. We've got ourselves a match. Have we had have we had a hundred spectators? Or are we still on eighty something? I thought I saw ninety once, but oh. I didn't look. I haven't looked for a little bit. Ooh, already starting. Oh boy. That's still here? Everybody, uh, every, it'll probably be here till the heat death of this website. <laughs> Truffles won the race this time. The, the annoying thing is that you don't know, you don't know when, when they actually make the new table. Well, look at the number climb. <laughs> I wonder how many people we lose that they just don't make the make the journey. What was game one? Was it, how was it? It was the swashbuckler. Thing. It was the haggler, swashbuckler, ghost oh, town yeah. thing. Yeah, any smooth draws that game were were quite sad. Are we gonna go to a new new table? Okay, never mind. Truffles, you just gotta have confidence that you could have got the spot again. If you can do it once, you can do it. You can do it every time. Oh wow, we we got back to seventy something. So the drop off was about fifteen, twenty. They're just trying to make our numbers look poor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do we have here? What's, no village. What's P6? <laughs> I 
I I I knew he meant hey troll. The and three so. Hmm. This is kind of annoying. Vakius is your only village of sorts. Yep. Uh, man. This is annoying. I, I, I don't know. That's, that's just the vibe I get. This, this, board is, this board annoys me. Yeah. I'm not very good at balancing the the lackey stuff. There's obviously things you can do with the lackeys once they're in your deck to get value out of them and have them exit the deck. I mean, Marauder doesn't look that great with Necromancer here. No. I agree. That doesn't look like the buy. I guess any Smith just gets Necromancer here, right? Do you? Oh, mark it. Okay. I think yeah, I, I probably I think I probably still would have opened with the necromancer. But gonna buy a lackeys? Reasonable. Do I want buys? Sure, but I don't have to open with buys. I mean, they're not. I guess this is a board where opening buys is reasonable, mm -hmm. for sure. But mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's not um, even clear though if you hit four with two buys that you want the double the two over the necromancer. But obviously, that you weren't getting the dollar. So if yeah. you don't take the market. Uh, Do you go, do you go two necromancers? Don't they just each have one right now? I w I mean you can play. I would play with two or three necromancers. Hmm. So what what does your what does your end game look like? Like what are, what are you building towards? Hmm. Just like having some money from market and maybe a gold or two. Or, depending on how clean your opponent is, idols maybe. Mm. How much are you trying to draw? Like, are you trying to draw? You can do... I mean, you should at least be zombie apprenticing something most turns, I think. Right. <clears throat> And then you are getting some lackeys that. Sorry, Sam, you already had your chance. You can't redeem yourself at this point. <laughs> you got, you get one shot. Sad necromancer. Mm-hmm. I mean, unless you mason and hit an estate, I guess, then not to, oh, there aren't any estates. Yeah, Raze, Raze does a real good job of eating estates. Raze is, like, one of my favorite treasures. It it, all, it just feels good. Yeah, it's, it's one of the feels-good openers, for sure. Most of the time. Maybe Necro Lackeys. Actually, what is that guy in the art even doing in race? Yeah, like tearing down drywall. I don't know. Is, is that even <laughs> drywall? With his bare, like... with his bare, it's not. I'm joking. I'm, I'm joking. Uh, he's just like using his hands instead of that tool he has sitting next to him. Yeah. He's very, he's very, very gently raising 
the building. He brings so why is there even a random piece of wood in the middle of the wall? He he brings the he brings the personal touch to his raising. <laughs> Why would he be like that for a tapestry? We finally reached that point in the match where we we're talking about the <laughs> Dominion's the art. Dominion's incredible artwork. Is there a raisin in the trash? Yeah, so you can kill this yeah. room and mark it. You take idle or just another market or two twos? Hmm. Oh, wild hunt. Oh, okay. wild hunt. Trust five coppers. Pretty sad. Those might. Oh no, he he has at least six. Okay, he probably has all seven. Okay. Well, Marcus is slightly cleaner, I guess, because Benny Smith has had to deal with these annoying. Ruins trickling in. Yeah, part of it has just been, I think, the Naismith not colliding necromants with ruins still. Uh, not that often, or maybe they are. But... He's he, Marcus is just staring really hard at the mar Marauder and going. Why did I even buy this? <laughs> it makes it in the idle, idle lackeys. I kind of wait for the weird part of the game where they start running out of villagers and the lackeys are low. Mm -hmm. to dance around. Yeah, that's always uh, the hard part of the lackeys game. The, what, what you hope in your lackeys game is that the three pile comes quickly yeah, enough yeah. that you don't have to do <laughs> that. But I don't know if that's going to happen for them here. Probably not. It depends on how, how they build it, I guess. <laughs> done with the <laughs> at least he got it out of the way mm. probably probably nine isn't like much better than seven there right like idle lackeys is is probably fine for your purchases so it wasn't really mm -hmm. a hurt, hurtful idle wins gift mm -hmm. The decks are actually pretty similar right now, so yeah, we're probably gonna have some in-game choices to to see who ends up on top. I guess the villager split is pretty good for Marcus right now. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's not three a.m. It's four thirty a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Daylight savings, you know. No, I'm <laughs> I'm I'm normally I'm normally awake at this time, anyways, because my school is theoretically in the U.S. Ah, uh, so it's all all remote. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, four four thirty a.m. is a normal normal time for a reason uh, for a responsible adult to be up awake. <laughs> Finally, get that fields gift right when you need that action. <laughs> Idle market, okay. Well, uh, P, uh, I, I guess I guess there isn't really too much that you need the villagers for, so you can just pick them up as you need them. Yeah. Yeah, I guess the question is, do you ever want to try and... Do you ever want to get to the point where you're trying to play two wild hunts or something like that? I assume Marcus is... Yeah, yeah it's kind of unsustainable to be playing multiple. Yeah, I assume Marcus is going for a market, a second market now, and then I don't know what else. Oh, Does go wild. for the second wild hunt. Okay, we'll see if Na Smith. I mean, it's nice for Marcus to have the better ability to pull the points off on the next turn. Yeah, they're. They're pretty okay to pull off at that at this level, mm -hmm. depending. But it's also, of course, just nice to have a wild hunt in your opening hand here. So it's totally reasonable to try and have or to have more than one copy of them just for that reason. I wonder, you take gold here, right? And this, I, 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 I guess the consideration is whether you want the lackeys on top. Yeah, maybe, maybe giving up two lackeys for it isn't. Is it... So now you got a spy. Does find, well, I guess all this gives you is peace of mind before you play your market. Doesn't. Yeah. Doesn't help you, but you can spend two villagers to pick up the points. The most likely pick up the points. Goes for the stop. I would not have actually. I don't think I would have stopped, but maybe. I mean, <clears throat> if any Smith picks up the points here, it's most likely at the cost of his turn. Yeah, yeah. I guess if you're deck tracking, you can have fairly high confidence that Whoa. Okay. they're not going to take them. Yeah, now you get a really nice wild hunt points. Yeah, this is looking very nice for Marcus. So what did the Marauder actually do? Did it... Yeah. I think you go ahead and... Okay, I would have gone ahead and apprenticed that rat catcher, but since you ended up with the lackeys on top, it worked out. I mean, he's got like five lackeys now, right? It's... Yeah. Quite lately, that he would run into one. I'm not quite sure what the stop at this point is for. You're gonna, I assume, try and get to your second idol and take those points for sure, but. Going at it this way, that seems reasonable. You don't find one of the markets, but... Oh, look at that province. This looks very, very good <laughs> for Marcus. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> 
You take two markets or more idols? I don't know. I feel like mm. I, I, I would not add an idol. I would think about actually a third wild hunt. Oh, really? Okay. Just from the perspective of if you keep drawing on your turns, I think you're fine. Hmm. Eventually you could you can still apprentice the wild hunt if you don't need mm. it later or whatever. Makes sense. <clears throat> Any smith is going to have to be very careful about his signatures. Oh, Mark, Mark just did get the wild hunt. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sirix has some summed up NA Smith's position pretty well. And you get to raise this estate. And... Shouldn't you? You should play the. I don't know exactly what's left, but I assume you should raise first. Yeah, probably. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I guess it depends on what's left, but. Yeah, it looks like if... it didn't, didn't match it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if there had I been mean... a, if there had been no, a. Uh, actually, it didn't matter because he drew a coffer of the wisp, so. You could have. All oh, right, yeah. So the, there could have been a copper in the discard. Yeah. I mean, he, he if he if he raised first, he could have gotten both the idol <laughs> and the wall. Oh wait, actually, it doesn't matter. No, what am I saying? It's... But there was a chance to have the. Cur oh, oh, okay. No, I understand. Yeah. I'm. I'm not. I don't know. There's lots of. Okay. Steph says no. Okay, sure. Do we believe Steph? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know yeah, about the Steph, Steph, Steph character in general, <laughs> I mean. Do be a source of information. Yeah. That's right. Though if you're playing the lackeys, well... <laughs> Then it all doesn't oh, matter. Oh, you the lackeys. Okay. That's... Oh, and he got a flames gift? Wow. This is tough. I think you need to count the number of turns you expect the game to go on at this point. Yeah. I mean, you can still just keep buying markets <laughs> and you'll be totally fine for uh, Marcus's position anyway. That is a province, yeah, I guess. Marcus could stop here. I guess there's not a huge number of dead, deady things left, but... I don't... Yeah, I wouldn't resign here, but not in this game. I feel like you kind of want to take the points, though. I think... I think four points matters quite a bit at this point. I would have drawn on there for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, don't know. I, I, I don't know why Marcus stopped there. Maybe he's worried about like just running out of villagers. Yeah, there's there's the villager aspect to to consider. And when you stop then you know you're good for the next turn for sure. 
Whoa, did he just buy a ruined market? What was that for? I guess it's supposed to be apprentice fuel. Oh. That's the only okay. thing I can think of, but don't do they have do they not have actions to trash anymore, I guess? I don't know. Uh, That's the only thing I can think of. I don't think it's an angle of, oh, I'm gonna try and lower the ruins to get a three pile. That doesn't seem like there's still the other necromancers. I, I guess you don't really want to trash the other. I don't know why. He, I don't know why he killed his wisp. Huh. Of the things, that seems like a weird thing to kill. <laughs> oh, you now, could... you play, now you can play the wisp with the necromancer. Yeah. But for sure, it would have been nicer to. Kill lackeys. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, this is close. This is close. Uh, estates? Well, you would do like raises, right? Or if you. <clears throat> Wasn't so far to the to ruins also. Uh, forest gif is a win, I think. Yeah, forest or earths is a win. Oh, that's not either of those. <laughs> Can you just like buy five estates? Probably. Uh yeah. Uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah. I felt like just buying five estates just, just, just wins there. This just stretches out the game for like, uh, maybe three extra turns. Gives yeah, 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 yeah. like a four person right. better chance of winning. I was probably lower. I bet the other line was a hundred percent guaranteed. Yeah, I bet yeah. you. I bet you can count any Smiths gains, and it was impossible for them to score the, enough points. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was the the five estates line is probably a hundred percent win. This is probably mm -hmm. like a ninety six percent win for Marcus. Mm. Yeah, sorry, I misheard you. Oh, province duchy, though. That's kind of nice. Yeah, it is a little scary because Marcus could have drawn a total dud. Yeah, There's some yeah. possibility. This is a win. Um, is it? Oh wait, one dollar short still. Sorry, but presumably in your top four cards you can find Here's another dollar. Oh, okay, there we go. now now there's a win. All right. Um... <laughs> Race right. province. Is That's a, right. A not not, e not even your top four cards. Your top uh, ten cards. <laughs> oh what? Well, it still oh, is there. Win. Yeah. He's just trying to max points. What? Oh yeah, this is this is so. It's still a win. Oh okay okay. Yeah. Okay okay okay. I mean, it was still enough money to do the estates. Also, it, I guess they just weren't. I guess Marcus just wasn't looking at the uh, the estate pile. Estates, yeah. Kind of yeah, disappointed if... he didn't do the five estates though. Yeah. Well, if you, yeah, and you can do that, and you got to raise the province if you're going to do the five estates. Then that's the. Mm -hmm. 
exciting way to do it. Oh, I meant on the previous turn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That would have been kind of a nice case of, like, locking your opponent without finishing. And yeah. a kind of unique way of doing it in that case. Tracer says it could have lost. I didn't count anything out. It was just my impression that it was pretty, pretty. Uh, I mean, any solid. Smith, any Smith bought a province in a duchy and he was and handed out a curse and he was still like two points down with five estates. You were having like seven points down with province and duchy. It seems kind of hard. But yeah. Well, I mean, Marcus bought a province, so it wouldn't have been. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, right. I, I think the point, the points, maybe got, maybe in fact did get quite, quite close versus that. Yeah. Yeah. Another fool board and night watchman. <laughs> uh, yeah, this uh, this would be a kind of an anticlimactic way to end end the match if Marcus <laughs> wins. So you're just like you're just vomiting silvers all over yourself right here, with yeah, the I, th I think so. I think so. Journeyman, and then maybe you take a masterpiece. You might not ever masterpiece if you don't get enough money early on. I guess. Hmm. I suppose you could try to beat that with. The problem is that like. Like races don't really races don't beat really that. beat that. Yeah, that's the problem. It's still I don't think I mean you can still do money lender opening. You could do like money lender watchman and then set up for a mega master fees on turn three. Cause you you have a silver from Lucky Fine as well. You could get quite a lot of money on, on, on the on the four three if you have the the lucky coin. Yeah, I mean it doesn't matter where your lucky coin ends up, right? Oh, oh but yeah, it yeah, has yeah. to be a four three. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it has to be a four three. Yeah, well, both of them have a four three, so. Yeah, but you're right. It doesn't matter about the lucky coin. Booms is such <laughs> a hilarious typo. Cyrix is always there for Honda. If he forgets his S's. Mm -hmm. They're really puzzling. Well, I mean, of course, it's it's match point, so you got to do a little puzzling. That's true, Topher. You could do bomb as chariot stack, which would be much better against the masterpiece than just regular chariots. It's kind of slow to get going, though. I guess. Although maybe, yeah. although maybe it just scores so much. That... But I feel like the silver flat would just like eight province before you can get much. Oh, for the fool, fool and the four. Yeah. Okay. One of one of the hard things is you go against a money deck with chariot race, and then oh, suddenly they're flipping banks and provinces, and and you just have these turns where you get nothing. Yeah. So Marcus goes money lure full, and and A Smith goes for the night watchman. Ooh, that's not a good win at all. But but, a, but like a lot of them are gonna trigger. And that's true. I mean, there's a pretty well. Like I mean, a, it's just the sun. Like a quarter of them, or no, I mean, like a third of them trigger it, right? Sea sun wind. That's all. I'm. No. Yeah. Um. There's another one, isn't there? Maybe not. Villain, okay. Maybe villain, villain a couple times, and then you do your super masterpiece. Hmm. Hmm. 
Ooh, Marcus needs to decide between fool and money vendor. Oh, okay. Why is he keeping the fool? He just saw Marcus discard his fool. Wait, they haven't kept it yet, have they? Oh, no. Oh, I see, I see. Is the window shifted to the side for Wait, a second? He, he, or... he, yeah, yeah I, yeah, I got that too. Wait, he, he, he asked for an undo and he still kept the fool. He wanted to... He wanted to... He really wanted the fool to be the card he discarded to. Oh um, wow, you didn't, you didn't trash. To Lost in the Woods. Mm -hmm. That was the thing that they were, they were hoping for. So they're into the chariot race stuff, which makes a not trash even more confusing. Because if you're I mean, buying you're chariot races, killing a copper is like really good. So it that, seems like they're both going races. What? Mm -hmm. So that one confuses they, me a bit. They have no appreciation for uh, for the simple things in life, like money. Oh. I, I just. I mean, with both of them having cherry races, I don't think it, uh, they'll they'll do big masterpieces anymore. Oh, problems. Okay. It would be really weird to buy two two chariot races or three chariot races into masterpiece. Mm -hmm. That's true, Kay, but we were imagining a we were imagining a money versus chariot race situation, so you can pretty much prevent that by just not buying all of them. Feels like neither of them want to be the guy who just plays money in game six. That's true. I I've been the person doing that and it doesn't feel good when you lose. <laughs> feels it feels awful. Both of them are just <laughs> repeatedly throwing their fools to to villain. Yeah. Well right now for NA Smith it makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> So Marcus is two coppers thinner. It looks likely, Apo. I don't think you spend five coppers. Or Whoa. Okay. I guess. I guess he does. And you probably get a win out of this too. Yeah, that's nice. Wow. That's the most effective Moon's Gift I've seen in a long time. Like, normally it doesn't do much of anything at all. These are definitely weird decks. Mm -hmm. They seem weird to me. Of course, N.A. Smith is going to... I mean, N.A. Smith is putting the provinces in. Is going to get more... Wins, yeah. Get more cherry race wins. And... Oh, I please would... don't be Lurker. <laughs> she... I would love that, Tracer. I remember I remember the the year I, I played, I think 2016, my semifinal match. The last game was uh, Masquerade. Royal carriage. That was a thing. That's funny. That was, the, that was the stupidest deciding game ever. Hey, I had to play. I had to play Beggar Guildhall versus Na Smith in this tournament. I think they should get to uh, get something like that for their game seven. <laughs> for his game seven. Oh, look at those races.
this looks quite over. Marcus is also in this cool spot where buying provinces doesn't help you win in any way. <laughs> yeah. Where it's just like, oh, I'm going to lose sooner rather than later. But if I buy them, I'm still not winning. Not so lucky. Lucky coin. <laughs> Well, this should be, this should be done. Yeah, that's why. That's why I mean, Davor is both, both, both sides of it are terrible. It's just like when, when later or lose later or lose now. <clears throat> Honda is assuming the race will win. The race. The race no showed a silver, so we we know any Smith's card is silver. Oh, it's silver, so it doesn't have to win. I gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. All okay. right. Wow, it's rigged. <laughs> we got a game seven. Here we go. Is Dominion just a coin flip? Did we, yep. did we actually coin flip? Oh, no, we didn't coin flip. Marcus went 2-0 Marcus went up. Wow. See who gets that second player advantage here. It, I don't think it actually swings it far enough, but... Yeah... Like, like you, you get ties like what one, one, two percent. Even that might be, even that might be too much. And yeah, I mean, the, but the the, 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 the the rule obviously is changing that percentage. Yeah, I don't oh, think that's true. Yeah. I don't think the rule does that much, but I don't know. We play with this rule in quarantine cup, and it has come up many, many times mm -hmm. where someone is able to to take ties and to to close out a playoff game. I mean, it depends <clears> on the board. <throat> okay, it looks like this board has stuff going for it. Yeah. Well, you open Silk Merchant and then think about your second buy. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, how, how has Night Watchman been here like so much? Night Watchman cage match. Gaining gaining duchies from count might might be quite relevant here. I think eventually. Maybe at some point. I mean, I guess if someone has a count, I'm not sure. You you definitely do have a count because of the only trashing. Yeah, you probably do. You could try to play without trashing though. Seems seems worse than I don't know, but what? Yeah, the the. So we got silk. <clears throat> Will they pair it with silver? Yeah, curses may not empty. You're right, Sam, because lighthouse. I don't think you get that many modes. I don't think you would get modes just because they're obelisk. Like lighthouse, just just obsolete mode. Yeah, I mean, I I kind of expect a moat will be gained in this game, right. but just because. Yeah. Well, I guess that depends. I mean, on how the ending goes, but obviously, in just in the greening phase, it could be relevant. Double, double if, we, from if we see a if we see a greening phase. All right, so Marcus Quite is nice for Renee Smith actually. <clears throat> Topher is giving us some insight into Renee Smith's mind. Is telling us. 
no counts ever. Wow, wow. So we're right in into, we're right into the old witches. Let's see if Marcus Marcus agrees. No, nope. Marcus. Yeah. Is it all these players with numbers at the at the end of their names know know each other inside and out? It must be something like that. Steph, I don't trust you anymore. <laughs> I can re I can remember game one. Wait, when did that second? Am I blind? When did that second silk merchant? Oh wait, he was the one with Mar the two. Marcus <laughs> opened double. All right. And Marcus mm -hmm. loves oh no, he's bought a night watchman. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh wow, he sh shuffles and gets a better trash. Nice. <laughs> oh my god. T fair count. Fair count is. <laughs> fair count is bootleg T fair counting house. <laughs> Yeah, Night, Night Watchman County House also. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see how this goes. Oh! Wait, okay. what? Is there a... I think that was like a shuffle consideration. I guess so. But I don't understand stand it it's like leaving fewer cards it, it wasn't going to trigger a shuffle right it was like gonna i I'm, mean I... it might have because the, the only action uh, there was the silk and you want to play the witch so he probably had enough time to count, uh, like count his cards in the deck i want to say I want to say if you play Minstrel Witch, it would have triggered a bad shuffle. Okay. Well, yeah, oh, well, well, we'll assume Any Smith had a good reason for it. I mean, that seems likely. Yeah. yeah. I didn't see the hand, so now I don't know her with the. This is too early for Lighthouse, because Marcus doesn't even have a witch yet, and it'll be at least a shuffle before he gets one. Oh, never mind, his shuffle it... is like one, one turn. Do you leave the... What do you, what do you leave up here? Just the copper. Is this one, this is one of those turns where they play the old witch and it doesn't matter if you trash the copper, or not the copper, the curse? Because you're probably counting. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I guess it gives you the option. It gives you the option to not. Yeah. He might come for money here to get a witch. <clears throat> oh, that's a lot of specs. The count. Yeah, we don't need to everyone write their number. I mean, you can if you really feel like it, but. <laughs> Do this for the next 30 minutes. Damn, <laughs> that reads like a non sequitur. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Well, I mean, if, if Dan says it, I, I, I guess it's, it's over then. It's, 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 it's sort of a, if it is, it does turn out that way. I, I, I mean, I like both these players, but it, I would like, I kind of want to see Marcus not take second place. Cause it's like the, it's his thing. It's like the Marcus thing, you know? So, oh, he buys Lighthouse Minstrel. So I wouldn't. I feel like any Smith's deck is better right now, though. Like, like, look, he's drawing, and Marcus, Marcus doesn't even have a witch yet. Nope. It's it's gonna be tough. Everybody, every well, not everybody. Many people were not on board the no count card, but here we are. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm quite convinced now that no counts probably better. And A. Smith protecting against Marcus's non-existent <laughs> old witch. Yeah, this is just... I feel like it might be a tempo thing, like, count, count trashing sacks your entire turn for not enough game, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I think the thing is, like, if if N.A. Smith... I mean, obviously, the draws can go different, too. So, like, if N.A. Smith has hands that just have coppers instead of minstrels and a draw card, then it looks different at some point. Yeah. So, so yeah. um... I guess you stop here. So this mm -hmm. wasn't such a good turn for Annie Smith. Um, this next turn should be should be good though. <clears throat> it's got a witch and a village on top, I think. Oh, within the seven. Is this just like double minstrel? Probably. Oh, hey, it's Royal Seal again. I didn't see that. I didn't see Royal Seal was there. <laughs> I guess you could go Minstrel Changeling. Changeling's kind of hard to draw, though. Oh, I mean, unless you draw a deck. Idea with the Changeling? Save the Copper is the oh. only thing. Uh, eh. that's, that's the only thing. Eh. It can be Dan, though in this case it's not. I mean, in that case, it would be pronounced Nee Smith, right? Yeah, <laughs> though it's usually thought. it's usually spelled the way uh, Lemon right. wrote it. Uh. Minstrel I house. Ooh. Gotta have two light, gotta have a lot of lighthouses. Oh, why are all these turns suddenly looking so bad? What's happening? Okay, he, he, he looked into the 50 50. <clears throat> and no curse trashing, just eating those. Mm hmm. Oh wow, he just plays all of his lighthouses. <laughs> that is <laughs> okay. That is pretty weird, actually. Or at least I would have maybe he already did his counting. 
JK, he didn't do any counting. Am I right? And, uh, uh, uh-huh. but, uh, I am a little surprised at the quick click of all the lighthouses. Right. Yeah. That's why, that's why I did it. So I didn't have to read it in chat. Maybe maybe he buys three more lighthouses here just to balance out the the lighthouses, you know. All right. <laughs> yeah, I think you can see more as kind of like a tiny nobles here. Like you you can you can pick up some extra points with pairs of minstrel mode. Go to go to ten minstrel mental moat. Yeah. Maybe one lighthouse because you decided to play all your lighthouses this turn. Gotta get those lighthouses. Oh, this is a this is a current trash. Yep. Oh, I guess you just top deck and do it. This looks so hard, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, this is it. This is done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Marcus seems pretty bad. That's that's kind of rude, Chase. Uh, <laughs> that's kind sorry. of rude trouble. That's <laughs> that's what we're gonna send him in his. That's what the tos are gonna send him in their second place congratulatory <laughs> message. Truffles is gonna write that. Here's your 300 euros for being bad. <laughs> oh, Telfer says win. There's no win right now, right? No way, right? Yeah, surely not. It's probably a... <clears throat> There's a two-turn win, yeah. It's probably a classic, uh, a classic two-pile. <laughs> mm-hmm. Marcus, oh, is... Marcus is calling it. All right. Wow. All right. Well, congratulations to N.A. Smith on a well-deserved victory. And um, as another bit of trivia, increasing the streak of champions of this tournament being previous uh, number one ranked players on the on the mm. auto match leaderboard. So 